This video is for the meat lovers. If you love meat and you love your kebabs, then you must definitely love this delicious meat kebab. In Ghana, this is chinchinga, <laughs> and our Nigerian friends call it sia. It's juicy, spicy, and just delicious. Welcome to Debsy's Delight, and I know you would love this one. <laughs> recipe has been long overdue <laughs> but hey it's finally here today I'm going to show you the easiest way to make the tastiest and juiciest kebab right at the comfort of your home if you're new to this channel this is Debsy's Delight if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for click on the subscribe button it's totally free as well as the little bell so that whenever I post a video you will be instantly notified if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for the love and thank you for always being here let's get straight into cooking I've got my beef groundnut oil vegetable seasoning white pepper, ginger powder, garlic powder, and soda. I'll explain why I'm using soda. I've also got my mixed peppers, half white onion, one red onion, and of course, our king of the ingredients, which is the sea spice and some skewers. Don't forget to check the description box for the quantities of ingredients. So now you can see I've cleaned the meat very thoroughly. I'll top it dry because we do not want to work with wet meat. I'm cutting the meat now. I don't mind the veins, but if you do mind the veins, take them out, okay? To tenderize the meat, I'll go in with a meat millet and just tap or hit hard on the meat just like you see on your screen because I do not like hard kebab and doing it this way also makes it juicier and this is one of the secrets to getting a juicy kebab I'll then proceed to cut my meat into small to medium sized cubes make sure not to cut it too large or else your kebab will take longer to cook and that will make your kebab very dry okay <laughs> I'll then transfer the meat into a bowl and go in with my spices. I've got my vegetable seasoning, my white pepper, ginger powder, garlic powder and soda. The reason why I use soda is that it will help make the meat softer. It's totally optional but I don't mind it at all and it does the magic for me. <laughs> also be very creative about your seasoning. You can use any seasoning of your choice. I'm going in with my granite oil now and of course our soya spice if you haven't seen this recipe i uploaded it in my previous video so be sure to check it okay click on the link above and it will take you to that video as you can see i didn't use any salt because i'm not really a fan of salt there is enough salt in the soya but if you do not mind salt use it okay i'll then cover it and set it aside in a fridge to allow it to marinate for an hour while I wait, I'll cut my vegetables into cubes as you can see on your screen. Make sure to cut it into tiny sizes as large sizes won't work for this recipe. I'll cut my onions into half and then to quarters and separate them to get individual strands. After an hour, I will thread my vegetables and meat on my skewer. As you can see, I've soaked the skewer for about an hour now because once you start grilling the meat, if you do not soak your skewers, it is going to burn. So make sure to soak the skewers, okay? I'll first go in with an onion. This, you have to be creative. You don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing, but if you want an exact replica, why not? So after the onion, I'm going with the meat and then some vegetables, yeah. I really didn't know which one to come next. <laughs> but hey, this is your time and chance to be creative. So mix and match as you prefer. I prefer meat and then vegetables because once you take meat, then a vegetable will follow and, you know, the mixture in your mouth gives a different kind of feeling. <laughs> So this is the first one I made. I hope you like it. So colorful and inviting. <laughs> I'll continue threading until all is done. And once it's all threaded and done, it is looking amazing. Let me give you a snippet of how it looks. Just look at that. <laughs> 
it's gonna go into the oven and yes this is what's left of the vegetables I don't waste food I'm going to keep this in the freezer until the next time I make any stew or anything like that now I'm transferring some of the sea into a bowl then I'll splash it onto every piece of the meat just as you see on the screen as you know this recipe is a sea recipe and the suya spice makes all the difference so don't forget to splash it on your meat like so and don't skip this step if you skip this step you will miss the magic <laughs> now it's well prepped and ready to go into the oven <laughs> I'll continue by lining my tray wipe some foil to prevent the grease from the meat sticking onto the tray making it hard to clean afterwards i'll grease my rack with some oil spray to prevent the meat from sticking onto it once it gets into the oven and then transfer the meat onto the rack just as you see on your screen if you don't have an oil spray just use anything to apply the oil okay now the rest of the granite oil i'm going to transfer to some of the sea spice mix it all together and then spread it onto every piece of the meat just as you see I'll then pop my meat into a preheated oven and grill it at 200 degrees as I believe it will give a perfect grill after about 25 minutes I'll take out the meat which is grilling perfectly but take note it is not done we are only smearing the groundnut infused sea spice and this will make your meat juicy if you grill it without smearing it with more oil and turning it on one side as i'm showing you you're going to get a dry suya meat so just smear it as i'm showing you on the screen and you're good to go pop it back into the oven and allow it to grill until your desired tenderness after another 15 minutes our kebab is ready <laughs> just look at that so juicy so attractive and it's about to go down as always don't forget to tap it into some more sea spice to give it that kick don't skip this part as it does the magic again <laughs> it's all ready call your family and friends and enjoy yeah you know one 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 <laughs> just look at that it's about to go down <laughs> and hey if you haven't checked the sea spice recipe it's linked to this video as well as you can check in the description box down below for the link I got you there. Today I have a surprise for you. Cause guess what? I'm so excited. <laughs> I listen to you all guys. So <laughs> so Javi is here to taste today. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> see who is on the show today. <laughs> I'm here today because I love meat, you know, I love meat a lot. So I'm in my zone. <laughs> Let me get you a plate. Okay. Okay, make a choice. That one. Well, that the one. big one. Yeah. Are you sure? You're only here to taste? It'll be in your mouth for long. Wow, guys, it looks good and it's very heavy because there's a lot of meat in there. You want to have a bite? You go first. Wait, mm. okay, let's do it together. Okay, okay. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Wait, wait. Mmm. I need to take advantage of this, you know. Mmm. <laughs> I think I need one more. Mm. I've got some malt here. Mm. Mm. It 
goes for some malt, you know. <laughs> I want that. I should be coming often, you know, <laughs> to taste. What would you normally use? It's amazing. It's amazing, guys. It is amazing. I'm not saying this because it's my wife. I love that. <laughs> you pair it up with this one, you're good to go. Thank you for having me. Can I have it, all of it? Of course you can. Um, You're most welcome. Mm. So yeah, I listened to you guys. We have a visitor today. You could be next. I, I wanna, have... I'm gonna come every day. <laughs> well, you come every day actually, but behind the scenes. Okay, okay. Mm. So yeah. Love it. The first on the list is here, of course, had to be my husband. Mm -hmm. So you could be next. Just keep watching, keep commenting, and the person with the highest comment might be next. I comment all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it, I love it. Mm. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, yeah, leave yeah. a comment in the comment section, yeah. and see you next time. You didn't say the other one. I love you. I love you all. Uh -huh. I, I love, love you all. all. But God, God loves you the most. You have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>